Let's learn about KML and Google Earth. So I'm going to focus upon the search and the places in Google Earth. These are the top two areas over here. Uh, the Google Earth layers down below. This is all content that's controlled by Google. Uh, it contains a lot of KML, but we can't really modify it. We can turn it on and off. So I'll turn the terrain off, turn the terrain on. That just influences the elevations. Um, I can turn features on, on and off in here depending on the scale they may or may not show so I'm looking at the whole earth and the geographic web doesn't even show up here. Uh, let's take a look at um, uh, well let's do a search so we can get to a spot where we can create some KML. So I'm going to do a search on 43 Amity Street which is the location of the Jones Library in Amherst, Massachusetts. So 43 Amity Street, 01002. And that's going to take us right in there. So here we are, looking at our library. The search result itself is KML. It's a place mark. If I click on it, I get the result. I also get directions, so I can get to or from it. That's automatic. Anytime you make a place mark, that's an automatic feature. Well, let's make our own place mark. So if I click on the place mark button up top here, looks like a push pin. It'll put a push pin right in the middle of my view. So, and it also brings up the uh, place mark properties dialog box, and that's this right here. While the place mark properties dialog box is open, I can click and drag the place mark and move it around. As long as I hold down my left mouse key, it's going to move it. And let's rename it. We'll call it Amherst Center Place Mark. And let's put a description in. Before we do that, actually, let's let's pick an icon. So you can see these are all the stock icons that are available. We'll, we'll pick the fork and a knife, uh, like it's a restaurant or something. Notice you can also um, add your own custom icons. We'll look at that another time. And let's look at the description. We'll add a description here. I'll just type in some demo text. The description can take regular text uh, and or HTML. So let's demonstrate how uh, we'll use the bold tag, which is just a uh, bracket B bracket and then I'll just type bold and then I'll close it. It's a really basic HTML tag. And you can also do an ahref which is a hyperlink. So I'll do ahref um, equals quote uh, http colon slash slash www.amherstma.gov that's the uh, town of Amherst, Massachusetts website. And I'll put in a description and that becomes a hyperlink. That's just regular HTML. So let's uh, notice we can also change colors. We won't do that yet. And we can also set the view settings which we'll learn about in a few seconds here. We can also set the altitude. We'll also learn about that. But Let's see what our KML looks like now. This is our place mark. So I click on the place mark. There are my descriptions. If I click on the uh, hyperlink it's going to open up the town website. Here's the town website. There it is. Let me close that. Now back in here. So let's uh, change the view. Get in a little closer. We just we just change the uh, aspects. We're looking in 3D. And let's get back into the properties of the place mark. So I just right click and click on properties. Let's up the altitude so you can float things up in the air. So let's our, float our place mark about 40 meters up in the air and we can extend a line down to the ground. We can also snapshot. So let's snapshot our current view. And I'm going to hit OK. So what does a snapshot do? Well, let's demonstrate that. Let me change my view, zoom back out and up. When I double click on it now, this, what the snapshot does, it'll take me to whatever view I set my snapshot, snapshot to be. So that's very handy. Let's take a look at uh, polygons and paths. So 
Place marks are points. Polygons are polygons. We can draw polygons very simply. Uh, if you're a GIS user, this is a very, very primitive, simple editing interface. Just click, 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 click to make a four-sided uh, rectangle. Uh, called it uh, My Building. And I'm coloring the outlines, and now I'm coloring the fill. We'll make it a violet color. And let's go to the altitude. So we can we can float polygons up in the air too. So we we float this up in the air, and if we extend to the ground, it actually makes a box. So this looks kind of like a barn, a purple barn. And I just saved my current view. Now if we spin it around, you can see that we have a very simple three-dimensional object now. A nice purple box. Let's make a path. So a path is a line. We'll just draw a path. Just click, click the points uh, to make the vertices. It's basically a chain, so I just click, click, clicked. I'm not going to create any descriptions there. We'll just leave it as an untitled path. Now what I'd like to do is organize my features. So I'm going to collapse the other menus. So we're looking at the Layers menu. And I'm going to right click and say New Folder. So a folder is very much a f like a file folder uh, that we use for organizing our files in our computer. Same kind of thing. So I'll just call it Folder for My Stuff and hit OK. And now I can just drag things into it. So I'll take my polygon, I'll take my path, and I'll take my place mark and just drag them right into the folder. And now I can collapse the folder. I can turn it on and off. Anything inside of the folder will turn off all at the same time or turn on. And I can save my view. I just right clicked on the folder and hit save view. So now if I click on the place mark, it had a different view setting. So we spin around to that view. If I click on the folder, it spins us back to that view that I just set for the folder. So let's save it now. So I'll just right click and say save place as. And there are two types of files that I can save. I can save a KML file or a KMZ file. We'll save a KML file first, put it in my documents, hit save. And let's save it again. So I right click, say save place as. And this time I'll pick KMZ as my format. This is a zipped KML file.